Hi everyone, welcome back. Very exciting to be back. I wanted to do a jewelry collection. Since filming my last video, the last jewelry collection, I have added a few more pieces into my collection. Not too many, but enough that I felt the need to share. I'm very much a gold jewelry girl and I want durable jewelry that lasts forever. I very much love shopping on Etsy and specifically for ghost find jewelry. Obsessed. I. I wish that I could be sponsored by them, that would be a dream, but until then, I am a very dedicated customer, so basically wear all my jewelry all the time, minus I've been taking these bracelets off actually when I go to the gym because they're a bit more fragile and if I'm doing weights, I don't want these to get in the way, but everything else pretty much just goes everywhere with me, like in the shower and everything, and oh, I also take rings off when weightlifting because... I mean, obviously, I don't want to dent them or anything. And I got a lot of great advice, which I really appreciate, to not be wearing my jewelry in the pool and ocean and stuff. So I've reframed, okay? You guys will be proud of me. That's it. I think that's everything. Starting with my neck, because I only have one thing on there. <gasps> this little teeny tiny diamond solitaire necklace. And this is from Fur Coast Fine Jewelry on Etsy. And I wanted something so small and dainty that fit, like, right in between my little collarbone right there and I wanted a really small stone and just something like dainty and shiny that I can wear every day it can be layered it can be worn on its own I basically never take it off and because it's so short I feel like it doesn't bother me so love that this uh, again I think I got like the smallest or second to smallest carrot size that Virgos has they have a lot of options and then for size, I got the smallest size they had. So I believe that's 14 inches. And then it kind of has an expander. So I have it on like the tightest uh, setting or the tightest loop that it can be on. So I want it to be like almost basically a choker. Let's do bracelets and then we'll do rings. I feel like people who've already seen my last jewelry tour, you already know where everything's from. But bracelets on this side... All three of these are not new. First have a bangle, it looks like this. It's a four millimeter gold bangle, and I believe four millimeter. I hope I'm getting that right. It's four or six from Alte Jewels, yeah, A-L-T-A-Y on Etsy. I will try to find the shop and link it. And it has a little clasp closure like that, which is like stays on pretty well. The size of it is very like it's an oval, okay? It's not circular, which it fits your wrist a lot better that way. And for the sizing, I just got like the smallest size they op they offered. I believe it's an extra small or like whatever the smallest size was. And I think you can also submit your wrist size and in like circumference and they can help you out with the sizing. But it is like more affordable compared to other gold bangles because it is not solid. It's definitely hollow on the inside. And because of that, I have dented it at the gym. Um, there's like a dent in it, which is very unfortunate. But I think that's, you know, I, I mean, I get that because it's hollow. So if you are going to be doing stuff that's kind of like dinging it on whatever, like dinging it on stuff, I would take it off because it's definitely going to get dented. I believe the seller is also in Turkey. That's where it ships from every time or the time when I order this, but the seller is very, very kind and she will answer all your questions. Next one is this one, which is so cute. It's an 18 karat gold and it has diamonds on it, but you can barely see them. 18 karat gold cable bracelet from David Yerman. Again, it's super small and it has a little clasp like that. And it's very, very dainty and thin, but at the same time, pretty durable. Like, I love the look of the cable bracelets. I think they're so classic. But at the same time, I wanted something daintier, and this is definitely exactly that. I'm out of breath. <laughs> is this Evil Eye bracelet from Furco's Fine Jewelry. There it is. It's, like, one of the first things I purchased from them. Yeah, I love the Evil Eye. I, like, I think I'll always have an Evil Eye on me. This one is so cute. It has a little diamond as the eye in the center. It's simple. It's dainty. It's everything I wanted. And I don't remember the sizing on this one, um, but if it does come in sizing, like just assume I got the smallest size in all the bracelets and necklace. My right wrist, okay, this is where I have a few, a couple new things, and we'll share, we'll share. So first, this is actually not new. It's a little 
it's very hard to see. My gosh, why am I so horrible at twisting my wrist? It's like a, a little bitty, tiny diamond, kind of similar to my necklace. It's like a kind of a bezel sort of design. And that's from my mom, so I can't say exactly the seller or anything, but I know she got it on eBay. It's funny because when she first ordered it, she was about to return it before even giving it to me because she was like, that is the size of a baby bracelet. Like I think they gave me a baby bracelet by accident, but no, that's just my wrist. Next, I have a few pieces from my friend's birthday. She wanted to do like matching friendship jewelry. So we have a ring and a bracelet. I'll show the ring in a sec, but this is the bracelet. It's kind of hard to see. Let me see if I can get it by itself. There we go. There it is. It looks like this. It's 14 karat for sure. I think those are cubic zirconia, so I don't think they're diamonds. I'm not fully sure, but it's really cute and love. It's our little friendship bracelet. This is from Jelen, Jelen Jewels, Jelen Diamond. I'm not sure how, what the second word is, but it's G-E-L-I-N and that's the brand. Um, I She ordered it, so I'm not really sure on the sizing, but I, it's pretty much like adjustable and I have it on like the tightest loop. So I will say that I've had one bracelet before from this brand and it broke off. It was an evil eye bracelet. I don't know if it's from the quality of the jewelry or because it's an evil eye and it protected me from something, but I loved it. It just broke off easily and I have no idea where it went. I lost it on vacation. Hers, she actually has the same bracelet, right? Our friendship bracelets. Hers broke also because um, it got caught on something and like ripped off. Hopefully this is durable and stays on. I haven't had an issue with any other bracelet other than from that brand, but it's really cute and I'm, I'm enjoying it while I have it on. Last bracelet on this side and my last bracelet overall. This bracelet, I'm definitely going to take it off. I think for the winter, I just, this is a summer bracelet to me. I don't know how to describe it. It's pearls and like the gold, beaded bracelet. I know my, my nails are like very grown out right now, but this is from E. Newton, E. Newton, E. Newton, which is kind of popular. Um, well, I mean, I know it through TikTok, but it seems like it's popular in like Alabama and like, it seems like it's popular in the States, in like the Southern States, kind of like sorority girls almost. Uh, but I just thought they were cute. And I was like, you know what? I want to try one. They're also like a lot more affordable than like the other jewelry that I have. So it's like, you know what? I love having just extra bracelets on during the summer. I think like a stack of bracelets is so cute. So I got one to try it out. This one is actually like, it's very, very tight and it fits like perfect. Like that's about the looseness of it. And this is the E girls. Like this is the little girls or the juniors line. It's not from their standard line. So it is smaller than the standard bracelets. The standard bracelets look like they would go down here on me and I was like, I don't like that. But this is perfect, like it fits perfect. It's a little snug to get like over my hand, but once it's on my wrist, it's like a great size. So no complaints there. And I think it's cheaper than getting the regular sizes. So if you can fit into the, the children's or the, the little girls, do it. To my favorite part, which are rings. And all my rings I've showed in my last video, except for one, my friendship ring. So I'll share that one first. So my friend and I, this one on my middle finger, it's we for her birthday, we also got a matching ring. So here it is. It looks like a little paper clip, basically. And um, I think it's called the Diamond Paper Clip Ring from Gel and Diamond or Gel and Jewels. So same brand as the bracelet. I really liked it because it's very, very similar to the Masika jewelry, which is like, I love Masika jewelry. If I could afford like the movement, the move necklace and bracelet and ring, like I would get it all. But it's again, it's out of my price range. It's, you know, because it's kind of like a designer brand, it's a little bit overpriced, right? So this is, you know, still really good. It's diamonds, real diamonds and 14 carats next to, Okay, these are two individual rings. My fingers are swollen right now from just the day, but one is like a twisted gold little band and then one is a solid gold band, both from Furco's Fine Jewelry and I love them together. And I like them next to the paperclip ring. I think that's really cute. 
So that's this hand. Moving on to this hand. These, I can't remember if I had these during my last jewelry collection or not, but here we are. So I have one 11 stone diamond band and I, like I love the look of an eternity band but that is more expensive than I want to pay so this one is kind of almost like a half eternity but not really a little bit cheaper so I love it and it just looks so good and that's also from Furcos I mean let's just be real the next one also from Furcos but I didn't buy it myself so it's this one it's like a gold band and it has little diamonds in it like that that was a present from my boyfriend and I love it. It was part of my, I think it was, I can't remember. I think he got it for maybe our anniversaries. I don't remember <laughs> what I got it for. So yeah, those are my rings. And I'm done blabbing. I've covered everything. Yeah, I'm obsessed. So um, thank you guys so much for watching if you made it this far. I am blabbing today, but I, I just missed you guys and I appreciate if you made it this far. I will see you all in my next video. Have a lovely day and yeah, bye guys.